Hello everyone and welcome. This is Dawn. I'm so glad you could join me. Today I'm going to be having some fun making a quick and easy scenic background with the Whimsy Stamps Beach Frog Stamp Set. And the matching dies are available to purchase separately. So let's get started. I'm going to be using my Misty Stamping Tool to stamp out a bunch of the images. Now I'm not going to be using all these images today, but since it's a newly released stamp set, I'll be using them in the near future. So I figured I might as well stamp all the images while I have my Misty out. Plus I hate wasting paper and this is a good way to use up all of the space. And then I'll just save the other images for another project. By doing this, it saves me time and paper. I make sure to stamp my images with a Copic friendly black ink. Next, I use the Look and Shark stamp set, and I'm gonna use the shark that looks like he's peeking around a corner, and I'm only stamping one of him, even though I usually like to cover a whole piece of paper with images, just like I showed you before. So now I'm gonna color the shark in with my Copic markers. I'm just gonna do some quick coloring, nothing special, just some basic coloring. And I start out by coloring the edges with some C5 Cool Gray. I go all around the edge of the shark with this marker. And then next I'm gonna bring in some of the C3 Cool Gray to color the rest of the shark and I'm just going to blend it all together with the C5. I use some R11 Pale Cherry to color in the inside of the shark's mouth and then I think it's just a little bit too pink for the look that I want so I use my colorless blender marker and I lighten the pale cherry up. I use number zero neutral gray for the teeth and for around the eyes, I just to give it a little bit of shading. Next, I color the frogs in using YG13, and I just color both frogs with this color. I don't blend it with any other color, I just wanted to keep it to the um, one color. And then I color the frog shorts in using YR09. When I'm done with all the coloring, I just use the matching dies to cut them all out. For the scenic background, I'm going to use the Under the Sea Slimline Pattern Paper. I'm going to use this scene right here, but I want you to see all the beautiful backgrounds that come in this pattern paper pack. They're really quite colorful and beautiful, and you could do so much with them. Lots of different backgrounds to make under the sea cards. They really go nice with a lot of the Whimsy Stamp Mermaid stamp sets as well. But I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to trim the pattern paper down to six and a quarter by three and three eighths because I want a white trim to show on the card front. I cut a piece of white cardstock to seven by eight and a half, and then I scored it at three and a half. And I just adhere my pattern paper to my card front. I'm going to adhere my shark so he looks like he's peeking from around the side of this rock, which I think is absolutely hysterical. Then I'm going to adhere both of my little frogs so they look like they're swimming around having fun in the water while Mr. Shark over here is watching them. I use the little fish stamps that come in the Beach Frog stamp set and I just stamp them randomly with some black ink onto the pattern paper. I use a white jelly roll pen to put white dots on the fish for eyes. And to finish off the card, I stamped the sentiment, Hey Chum, onto a piece of white cardstock, and I trimmed it down. And then I decided I didn't really like how it looked. I wanted to have the sentiment in a speech bubble. So what I did was I die cut all of the speech bubbles from the Cosmic Speech Bubble die set. And then I'll save all the ones I don't use for future projects. I pick the speech bubble I want to use and I stamp the sentiment Hey Chum onto it with black ink. I'm going to cover a set of the black fish I stamped, but that's okay. No one will even know it's under there. I think this card is fun and it came out adorable. It was such a quick and easy card to make. Well, that's going to complete my card for today. I want to thank you for joining me on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed my card. I would love for you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. 
We would love for you to subscribe to the Whimsy Stamps channel and all their other social media platforms so you don't miss out on any upcoming releases and great inspirational videos. Also, check out their website for all their new releases. And as always, thanks for stopping by and have yourself a wonderful day.